So I am honored to be here today in the ISRO Mission Control Center. Uh, it's just truly been an incredible visit so far, and I have to tell you, I had an opportunity. I'm uh, sitting next to our, our charge, uh, it's just an honor to have you here. So thank you, sir, for being here. Uh, the former ISRO chairman, I, I looked at him right after the launch, and I said, so how, how does it feel to not be on console? He said, well, uh, it's, it's a different seat, so it's good to not be in the hot seat. So I'm glad you got to watch the launch and enjoy it. Uh, but on, on behalf of NASA, I just I want to congratulate all of the teams. It has been just an incredible decade culminating in this moment from the technical collaborations, the cultural understandings, getting to know each other, building that team across continents, across time zones, um, missing, missing nights, missing weekends with families, holidays, it is truly something that every single person in this room should be proud of. I am so proud. I was so proud to be out there watching this launch. Dragonflies flying above, it just picture perfect, and uh, I could not be more proud of these teams. You know, and this mission, it's truly a pathfinder, not just in regards to our technical collaborations, because those are truly incredible. This Earth science mission is one of a kind and really shows the world what our two nations can do. But more so than that, it really is a pathfinder for the relationship building that we see across our two nations, you know, across India, the United States, building upon decades of collaborations that already existed. Uh, and I, I cannot be more proud to be here representing the U.S. and really representing the teams that have been working so closely behind the scenes to make this happen.